What is going on guys, it's Frosted Shooters here, and today I've got some Modern Warfare 3 PC gameplay for you guys, and also I've got some really juicy, awesome leaked information about Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Uh, this actually was given to me by a subscriber of mine, Minecraft Edition 1, so if you see this video, thank you so much. Uh, this stuff is awesome, this information is absolutely insane, and this video basically is due to you, so thank you so much, sir. And basically right now, guys, I'm just going to go over this. All of this stuff is at this very moment here say this was posted on the call of duty forum um and was immediately removed by activision making me think that this is actually legit leaked information and there's a lot here so i'm just going to go ahead and get right into this and i'm just going to read off basically everything here on this document that i have and there's going to be a link in the description if you want to check out the document for yourself you can download it you can save it whatever you want to do um, but basically let's just get right into this so the official release date well, excuse me not official but the um, said release date is going to be the 6th of November, which sounds right to me, and that's the only reason I really believe it, because it seems like every November we got a new Call of Duty, which is awesome, and so the 6th of November is the date to beat, guys. Uh, evidently, closer to the actual release date, we will obviously know what it is, um, but of this moment in time, the 6th of November is the day um, on which the game is supposed to be released. Um, now we're just going to go ahead and get into game modes. Um, First things first, the two game modes that are being removed are Team Defender and Infected. Uh, team Defender, excuse me, Team Defender, I kind of liked, but obviously it was, it's not too popular. Um, same with Infected, kind of a one-hit wonder thing. Uh, it's not going to be in Black Ops 2. Apparently. Drop Zone and Kill Confirmed, however, are returning. I personally am not a fan of Drop Zone, but again, this is not about my personal opinion. This is about facts and leaked information. Um, and there's going to be a new game mode, apparently, called Escort, and it's going to be very similar to Search and Destroy, however, a live player must be escorted to one of three areas, or two, depending on map size, without being killed. The match will have rounds, consisting of one life each round. Uh, so definitely sounds like a cool new game mode, and definitely sounds like something that is very tactical, going to be very team-based and communication-based. Um, so now we're just going to go ahead and move on down to point streaks. That's all the information we have on game modes right now. But with point streaks, we got a lot of information here. Uh, first things first, the specialist point streak has been modified. Two kills will get you one perk. The fourth kill adds two more perks to that, so you have three kills after, or three perks after four kills. After six kills, you get three more perks, making a total of six perks. Um, after six kills, after eight, you get four more perks, making a total of ten perks after eight kills. You do not get every perk once you reach eight kills. So there is no specialist, all specialist perks bonus. Um, you s just get to ten perks, and then that's it. Um, the RCXD is not going to be returning, it's going to be staying out away from Black Ops 2, which I'm very, very excited for. I hated the RCXD, I'm so glad they're not um, putting it back in. Um, another new point streak reward is going to be Heat Vision. It's going to be a scope that once you get to these uh, required amount of points, your player will pull out the scope and attach it to your primary weapon, um, excluding shotguns. And the best thing about this is apparently its ability to detect enemies through walls is quite substantial, which is awesome. I mean, seeing someone through a wall is an advantage that you will never, ever be able to, I mean, imagine the effect of being able to see campers through walls. And actually, there was a tweet by David Vonderhaar saying, repeat after me, I want to wait a wall bang campers. And I'm thinking this is what he was referring to, which makes me think this is a legit point streak reward. Um, item packages. They're going to be requiring five points. They're going to fall alongside care packages and airdrop traps. Um, they have package items. Here's a list of the package items. Ammo, a minigun, which is awesome, grenade launcher, rocket launcher, and body armor. So you're going to get one of those things. The minigun is awesome. I'm so glad they brought that back. I love the death machine in Black Ops. It was absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's super fun, too, if you got that. So that's those are the uh, two new point streaks, item packages and heat vision scopes. Uh, so that's, that's really cool. And then also, there's going to be a huge emphasis on objectives. A bomb plant is now worth two points. A neutral flag is worth one. An enemy flag is worth two points. A uh, flag assist capture is worth one. And a capture by yourself is worth two. At least that's the way I understand it. Um, so certain things are now worth two points instead of one, which is actually really cool to promote uh, playing the objective rather than kill horn. Uh, information on prestiges. There will be 15 prestiges. The final prestige has 90 levels. Um, every two prestiges, there is a five rank increase, which means I'm thinking first prestige will be 50, second prestige will be 55, third prestige will be 55, fourth prestige will be um, 60, and so on and so forth, up to 90. Um, I think that's the way it's going to go. Uh, but every other prestige, apparently, it increases by five ranks, which is kind of cool, but apparently the first one is going to be 50. 
Um, now the next thing is Elite. They are bringing back Call of Duty Elite. It's going to be fully incorporated. Quote, fully incorporated. They're actually removing combat record and replacing it with something called Elite Stats. So I'm thinking Call of Duty Elite is going to be a kind of a mandatory thing here with this. And some people will like this, some people won't. Um, I'm not sure if it is actually mandatory. You sign up for actual Elite. I know you won't actually have to buy it to participate in the game or see your combat record. But I I'm thinking it's going to be a lot more integrated than it was in Modern Warfare 3. There can now be specific lobbies for clan matches, and it says in parentheses, or, uh, excuse me, a new way of leveling clans, which is awesome. So apparently there's going to be, like, clan versus clan, uh, lobbies now. So that, that's kind of cool. It's like having a team and playing competitively. Uh, and there's also clan tournaments that can be implemented, which is absolutely fantastic. That sounds amazing. Uh, that is basically competitive, uh, Call of Duty. So... It's looking like there's going to be a lot more competition now between clans. It's going to be more like team-based games instead of just public matches. Um, so that sounds cool. A few things they removed from the game. I know you're all going to be sad about this one. There is no Moab or Nuke. I cried for a couple hours. I finally got over it. Um, but now I kind of feel like crying again because that is just horrible. I personally love getting that. Uh, not that I get Moabs like every game. No. Not to toot my own horn, but... I'm just messing with you guys, but anyways, the Moab or the Nuke was actually definitely a really popular kill streak, and they're removing it now, so that's kind of sad. Um, there's no last stand, however, and no death streaks, so that kind of counteracts that a little bit. That's that's the tissue that some guy handed me um, to wipe my face with and get rid of all the tears from no Moab or Nuke, is the fact that there's no last stand and no death streaks. So that's tissue right there, tissue paper, extremely soft, awesome tissue. Um, and there's no flamethrower attachment. Um, so those things definitely aren't bad. The no Moab or Nuke thing is kind of a deal breaker, but oh well. Uh, we're just going to have to live with that. The map design is going to be following Black Ops and not continuing off Modern Warfare 3. Here's a big thing for you quickscopers out there. Sniper rifles are improved usage. Quote, improved sniper rifle usage, which means could mean a few things. Could mean um, less time to actually scope in. It could mean you could hold your breath longer. Uh, it could mean um, whatever. But the, the two things that we have right here... Uh, confirmed are no aim assist and less scope sway, which are both awesome. I love the fact that there's going to be less sway in the scopes. I always thought there was too much. Um, the no aim assist thing, uh, I think that should have been implemented a long time ago, to be honest. Um, I'm not a quick scoper myself, but I, I, I think it should have been implemented. Customization, no longer perk, um, there's no longer just perk 1 that chooses all of the player's appearance. In Black Ops, perk 1 chose the way your player looks. Now, appearance is a combination of all perks and types of point streaks being used. So it's kind of cool. So your player will look different based on what perks you select and stuff. It'll be more customizable, which is something we haven't seen in Call of Duty up to this point. Um, hardcore mode, there's going to be a lot more changes on hardcore mode. Um, there's a big, huge emphasis on hardcore. It's going to be used and implemented into the game a lot more. Um, no grenade launchers in hardcore mode. One bullet in the foot will no longer kill someone. A head or chest shot is usually required for one shot, one kill. Um, a person will now bleed out if severely injured, which is really cool. I don't know how they implemented that. That sounds awesome, though. So if you get severely wounded, say, shot in the stomach, you can actually bleed out. Um, respawn timing is decreased and only vehicle-guided rocket launchers permitted. Um, now the perk system has been upgraded. Um, basically, to sum this up, because we're running out of time here, there are two options that you can upgrade your perk to once you um, reach the selected challenges. Um, both require different challenges to unlock. Once the desired pro version is unlocked, the player can select that as their perk pro. Once selected, the only way to choose the other options is by entering prestige mode. Um, so that's kind of cool. For example, perk slot 1 has the perk called speed. So here's a leaked perk right here. Speed is quick draw. It reduces the time... Um, taken to aim down the site, which basically is quick draw. And you have two different pro versions to pick from, and you can only pick one. Pro 1 swaps ver weapons faster, and Pro 2 throws equipment faster. Um, so you get to choose one of those. I don't think you can have both at the same time. Um, so definitely interesting with the perk systems. Um, now combat training, this is the last piece of information I have for you guys. Combat training is returning with vast improvements. That is an air quote again, vast improvements. Difficulty is no longer based on how long the bots take to start shooting after they see you, so that's definitely cool. Uh, bots now have an advanced AI system, and they are going to be similar to the behavior seen in Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops Survival. That, that is awesome. I think combat training is going to be loads of fun. I always actually kind of liked it. Um, that's all the information I have for you guys now. Uh, I hope you guys definitely enjoyed it. There's going to be a link to this forum page that I'm reading off of right now in the description of this video. Check it out if you want. Um, it says Activision is suppressing these posts really fast, so it's going to be pretty much gone fast so I would definitely check out this page and remember this is all just 
air quote leaked information on Black Ops 2. I cannot confirm nor deny any of this, but it sounds legit to me, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So I've been Frosted Shooters with the Phaser team. That's pretty much it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this gameplay, and I know I went a little bit over, um, but I hope you didn't mind. So I will see you all later. Remember to keep your swords sharp and your Cheerios frosted.